Okay guys, we just dipped down to 0% battery left. We have four kilometers of range according to the car and we are about 2.8 kilometers away from our destination. Three kilometers of range left. Will we make it? Hey guys, Chris here. In this video, we're taking the Audi e-tron out on the road and driving it down to 0% to see just how far we can go on a full charge of battery. We're also gonna find out what happens when we are down low in the battery percentage. Will we lose all of the power? Will we lose climate control? You know, these EVs tend to do very different things when down low in the battery percentage. And guys, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. I'm Chris, I have this channel dedicated to testing EVs. I do range tests, charging tests. I drive EVs down to 0% to see, well, how far we can go on a charge. I do reviews and a whole bunch of videos on EVs. So please be sure to drop a like on this video if this is the type of content you guys like. And also consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell. So as I said, we're taking this Audi e-tron, my Audi e-tron actually. I haven't been in this car for a long time and haven't done a video on it. Yeah in forever we're starting here at so and Rienkrisa. we're going out on the e6 motorway south to the swedish border and then back again one round trip yeah i think we're going to try to go about 350 kilometers today because i don't think we will be able to go much further on a motorway at motorway speeds with this car we're going to try to have an average speed of around 100 kilometers an hour according to the trip computer and that means going about 90 kilometers south and then turning it back again and going back to this starting point that should be one round and trying to go two rounds so i think 350 kilometers if we can manage to cover that under today's conditions which is sunny yeah it's warm today summer is finally here and also it's around 25 degrees celsius so if we're able to go 350 kilometers today i think we should be very very happy we are now oscar mike we've only been on the road for yeah 17 minutes covered 28.8 kilometers and guys check out the temperature 25 degrees yeah one of the warmest days thus far i mean the summer and spring just came so late to also this year we are at the end of may and then finally we have this nice weather so i'm hoping for a long and warm summer because yeah this has been long awake awaited but okay, check this out guys. So uh, consumption is just below 21 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. We have covered at, as I said, almost 30 kilometers. And according to the car, we have 324 kilometers of range left. Hmm. Pretty, pretty interesting. Again, if we can cover 350 kilometers, I think we should be very, very happy. I'm not gonna be too optimistic because I know the e-tron <laughs> yeah can be quite thirsty and also we are running in efficiency mode which lowers the suspension and yeah turns on eco uh yeah eco ac which is very nice because you know when running at 20 degrees celsius in normal ac i think it gets a bit too cold in here so the temperature now with eco is just perfect so uh to do i've done the calculation so you know, we're going four lengths, so one and then back, that's two, that is one round. So 350 kilometers divided by four is 87.5 kilometers. So that means we should go 87.5 kilometers south and then turn around. And you know, the trip computer here is very, very accurate. I mean, so you can basically just trust the trip computer here and the distance. So we're just gonna soldier on, enjoy this beautiful, beautiful weather. It's very calm today, about one meter per second in wind uh, southward. So we have a slight tailwind now, if you can even call it that. So yeah, we're just gonna continue now to the Swedish border and then I'll catch up with you guys when we get to the turnaround point. Okay, we are now approaching exit number five to Sörstborg South. I don't think I've ever, you know, exited here before on, yeah, where I usually do this test where I drive these cars down to 0%. So, uh, yeah, this is kind of a new one. So, I have to remember it for uh, the second round, exit number five to eastern part of Fredrikstad and southern part of uh, Sarsborg. 
But okay guys, we are now covered 87.2 kilometers, 21.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And look at this guys, the temperature has dropped to 18 degrees Celsius. That is kind of weird that it is so much colder on this side. I mean, only about 90 kilometers south of Oslo and it is this cold. Yeah, that is very, very weird. And guys, let's also check out our battery percentage, 77% state of charge. Hmm, okay. That's sounding good. And our average speed is also 101 kilometers an hour. So yeah, <laughs> a little bit of traffic here. So having that, yeah, a little bit higher average speed, that's gonna be nice, but okay. If this continues, if we have this consumption on our way back that I don't think because we actually start at, at a little bit of a higher elevation. We start at 135 meters. We are at 30 meters. So we're going to have to climb about 100 meters on our way uh, back north. But ah, maybe, I don't know. It's going to be very, very interesting that, yeah, to see actually what our consumption is and uh, yeah, how far we can go today. Hmm. Okay, guys, we are now back in Oslo start point or yeah, this time our turnaround point and the next time when we are here, hopefully if we will get there, this will be our end point. But check this out, guys. This is very, very interesting because we are now at 54% state of charge. Look at that. Hmm. And we have now covered 175.4 kilometers, 22.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And guys, check this out. Look at the temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. That's kind of funny that it is eight degrees warmer here than it is 90 kilometers south from here. That's really weird. And yeah, it doesn't make any sense to have such big local differences, but okay. That is what the temperature difference is today. And yeah, I mean, that may give us less desirable results than we want because I think it's better to go at, yeah, with 25 degrees outside, like the temperature we have now, 25, 26, is better for the battery chemistry to, you know, uh, for the efficiency. But yeah, I mean, the consumption 22.3, 22.4 isn't bad at all. And we are at 54% battery. So. We're going to head uh, south again and I'll meet up with you guys when we are at our turnaround point. We are now at exit number four. Uh, so we drove one exit longer to, you know, go a little bit further because, yeah, looking at the uh, consumption, looking at the uh, percentage, we, yeah, want to go a little bit further. So we are at 28% now. We have 89 kilometers of range according to the car, but we have now put our end stop, the yeah, SO in Rienkrisa as our destination. Then the car should, you know, calculate um, range very accurately according to weather, topography, and consumption. And there's also a safety buffer in there. So the distance back to our destination is now, let's see, 95 kilometers. So. Yeah, according to the car, we have five less kilometers of range than we have distance. But yeah, that's not going to be uh, that's not going to be an issue because we're going to be able to go there. And our consumption now is 22.0 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Average speed 99 kilometers per hour. But that's because we hit some traffic uh, at exit five. Um, it stopped. We almost came to absolute stop, so we lost some speed. But that's not going to be a problem making up that speed but just going yeah, at around 110 kilometers an hour. So yeah, then we're gonna just soldier on guys and I will catch, and guys, okay, look at this, 17 degrees, nine degrees, almost 10 degrees difference from here and Oslo. That is insane on such a warm day. Hmm, doesn't make much sense, but well, it is what it is, but okay. I'm gonna continue on northwards now and I'll catch up with you guys when we get closer to Oslo. Okay guys, we are now at 3% battery and the car just flashed us that we are now in turtle mode, meaning that we have about half of the power that uh, we have, you know, when we are in full power mode, but we have gone now 351 kilometers guys. So we have actually covered the distance we thought we were going to go in the beginning and we are about, let's see, 13 kilometers away from our destination. So yeah, I don't think we're gonna have any problems at all going to our end point.
Okay guys, we just dipped down to 0% battery left. We have four kilometers of range according to the car and we are about 2.8 kilometers away from our destination. Three kilometers of range left. Will we make it? Yeah, I think we will make it. I don't think this should be any problem at all. So yeah, quite undramatic guys, but okay, it will be very interesting to see, yeah, our final range and our final, you know, consumption. And guys, look at this, 27 degrees outside now. That is so weird. That is so much warmer here in Oslo. We are now back here at our starting point here at Esso in Rien. And guys, pretty undramatic. Yeah, one of the least dramatic of these videos where I'm driving these cars down to 0%. Like, no reason at all to be, I mean, uh, nervous. Even though at the very end, actually, when I stopped filming the last clip, the car was actually estimating a little bit less range than it was to our destination. I've driven this car so many times down to 0% that, yeah, I know we had enough juice. And we were able to cover 364.4 kilometers. According to the car, this does underreport a little bit. So that might be like 365, maybe 366, a little bit more. But I mean, there isn't too much in it. And, you know, I think we sh could have been able to even go like 375 if I was really going to push it. So... I mean, I'm quite, yeah, impressed by the range we got out of this car. As I said, initially, I didn't think we were going to get more than 350 kilometers. And our consumption today, 22.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers an hour at an average speed of 100 kilometers an hour. I mean, that is pretty, pretty impressive. And considering that the temperatures actually dropped till 17 degrees and now back in also at 27 degrees, I mean, we didn't have, you know, that optimal operating temperature either. If it was 25 degrees throughout, I think we may have been able to go a little bit further and have even lower consumption. But I mean, that's up for debate because when we went into the colder climate, the air condition is working less, you know, uh, stressful, but we were in eco mode in AC. But yeah, either way, guys, either way, I am very, very impressed with this car. Again, if we took this out on a motorway, as we did today, going even a little bit faster, we could cover, I mean, 300, uh, 350 kilometers, you know, that's three, three and a half hours on the road before having to stop. So, I mean, it's not as good as something like the e-tron GT I did in the last video, but for being this size of a car, being an SUV, yeah, that is pretty impressive. So guys, let me know what you think down below. Are you impressed by how far we got with the e-tron today? Are you impressed by its range? Are you impressed by its consumption? If not, let me know that also. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below. And for more car content, as always, guys, please subscribe. See you guys later and goodbye. Cloudless skies in the